Halloween. I'll never forget it as a kid. I remember one year in grade school, we used to have these costume contests and I dressed up as a mummy, wrapped myself up in toilet paper and I got first place. I was pretty cool back then. And then we would go out that night, knocking door to door, saying trick or treat, getting bags full of candy. Parents didn't have to worry about anything. Kids didn't have to worry about anything. We were out until way after dark, just having fun, just being kids. And you know, that didn't warp my mind. That didn't warp my theology. And it didn't give me a, a skewed perspective of what Halloween was all about. And I never thought about Halloween as being the devil's night or being something evil. I just thought it was something fun for the kids. But when I was saved and had children of my own, I got to thinking about Halloween. Is it something that a Christian should do? Is trick-or-treating something that Christian parents should allow Christian children to participate in? Today, we're going to tackle that question. Hey guys, Jeremy Skinner here from 10 Minutes of Truth, bringing you accurate biblical truth on the subject of Halloween. Today, I want to share with you four things that you need to be this Halloween. If it's your desire to grow deeper in the faith and to learn how the Bible applies to everyday life, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. Halloween is the second most celebrated holiday right after Christmas. 36 million children are going to swing by 100 million homes picking up candy that's going to hold them over hopefully until next year. You know, the average kid eats about 25 pounds of candy a year and most of that is accumulated and consumed around Halloween. Kids love this day, but what do adults say? Halloween. It's the most dangerous day of the year when Satanists and witches snatch up children off the streets and sacrifice them in Satan's name. Halloween is nothing but evil and Christians should have no part of it. Satanists look for Christian virgins to rape during Halloween rituals. Poisoning or sabotaging of Halloween treats is a significant risk. Um, I don't think so. I've done a lot of drugs in my day and there was no way that I was gonna be sharing them with kids by sticking it in their candy. That's crazy. As a matter of fact, I think all of these assumptions are crazy. As parents, we are concerned about the spiritual welfare of our children and we wouldn't wanna do anything to compromise their faith or to jeopardize their belief in Jesus Christ. And so when it comes to Halloween, and since Halloween is connected to darkness, we just choose not to even participate in it, especially when we understand the pagan roots from which it has developed. However, if one does their homework, they're gonna find that Christmas, Easter, birthdays, and any day of the week, Monday through Sunday, has its roots in paganism. So that little bit of information that we have, and what we've been told from the church that this is a dark and evil day, can really cause our kids to miss out on a super duper fun night. And so today, I wanna to talk to you about these four things that you need to be. And number one, you need to be concerned. I totally agree. There's a lot of things about Halloween that cause Christians to become uncomfortable. When we talk about devils, witches, ghouls, and goblins, and death, and darkness. Christians really don't want to have any part of that. So it's a time for us to be concerned. Be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but wise. This is a time for us to remember that, that evil exists. It's a time for us to remember that darkness is real. And that the devil is going to do anything, taking every opportunity to express himself. And so, if you choose to trick or treat this year, then you need to be very concerned. Paul again said in 1 Corinthians, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So if you do choose to take your kids trick-or-treating this year, then listen, do it for the glory of God. You don't have to participate in the evil and you'll be all right. Number two, beware. If something pulls us away from Jesus, then we just need to stay away from it completely because spiritually it's dangerous. Number three, be careful. If you're gonna go, be careful. Paul said in Ephesians 5 to be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but wise. You see, if you're gonna go trick-or-treating this year, just don't do anything that's gonna compromise your faith. Don't do anything that's going to dishonor Christ. I mean, you can, you can trick-or-treat without being evil. You can trick-or-treat without being the devil. You can trick-or-treat without being a vampire. You can trick-or-treat without being something that's scary. You can trick or treat in such a way that it brings glory to God. And that's what we need to do. We need to look for ways to be a positive voice in a dark world, which leads to number four, be bold. Paul tells us in the very next verse, 
that we are supposed to make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Halloween is not a time for us to tuck our tail between our legs and look the other way. It's not a time for us to just turn away from the darkness and to simply avoid it. I think it's a time for us to be a light in the midst of the darkness. I think that, that we should see this as an opportunity. I mean, Paul tells us in Romans chapter 12, do not be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. If you look in Acts chapter 19, you'll see that this was somewhat of a similar principle in which Paul encountered. He was in a pagan community. He was in a pagan city. And what he did was walked in there, one man armed with the power of God, with the armor of God, filled with the Holy Spirit of God, and he made an eternal difference in the lives of many. Just think of what it would be like if Christians would do that. I mean, if Christians were to look at Halloween as an opportunity to make an eternal difference rather than an opportunity to join in the evil and the darkness, what difference could we make? We can magnify light. We can magnify Jesus Christ. If we are serious about making an impact on a dying world, Halloween represents not just satanic oppression, it also represents Christian opportunity. And so let us make the most of every opportunity, even this one. Trick-or-treating or not trick-or-treating, that's totally up to you. If you do choose to take your kids trick-or-treating, I want you to remember these four things. Number one, be careful. Remember that it is Satan's plan and purpose to steer you away from Christ and to convince you to compromise what you believe. And Halloween is a great opportunity for him to do that. Number two, beware. If it robs Christ of his glory, then it's wrong and it's dangerous and you should keep away from it. Number three, be concerned. Halloween is a good time for us to remember that evil does exist and that we need to do everything that we can to stand up against it with the power of the Holy Spirit that is inside of us. And number four, be bold. Listen, this is an opportunity not to join in the scare, but to stand up against it, to be a light shining in the midst of darkness, and to make an eternal difference in a lost and dying world. Hey guys, this has been Jeremy Skinner bringing you accurate biblical truth on the subject of Halloween. And if you have found this helpful in making decisions whether to go trick-or-treating or not trick-or-treating, then I want you to hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more content on my channel that will help you deepen your faith and strengthen your walk with Christ. There are two videos on the screen right now that will help you deepen your faith and strengthen your walk. Watch those now.